putting Barry on underneath the bus. Put him under the bus, that's what we're Praise Jesus! Hallelujah! <laughs> God's plan for your existence. God created you to solve a specific problem for His name's sake. Amen. Thank you, Come Jesus. On. Amen. Amen. Everything we're doing is in the name of Jesus. Jesus. For His name's sake, <laughs> He's given you and equipping you with these five questions that you will be capable and you will prosper because you have the answer for these five questions. Problems. We will solve for his name sin. Write this down. Jeremiah chapter 14 verse 7. Ready oh Lord, though our in, in, our infirmities testify against us, do thou do thou it for thy name's sake? For our backsliding are many. We have sinned. We have sinned against. God had to send His only begotten Son to die for us that we have a plan and a future. Amen. He died for our iniquities, our hidden sin. He was bruised for our transgressions. Come on, somebody. Yes, amen. He did it all at the cross, and you got to know who you are for what He has done for us. This is what He said. He did all of this because we backslided. And God said, get back in church and get blessed in the name of Jesus because I have a plan and a purpose for your life. For my name, say. say. God don't want us to be stuck in sin and backsliding into the world. Amen. Amen. God wants you to prosper. You get a prosper, you stay stuck because you cannot answer the five questions. Success is predictable, failure is predictable. Watch the way you live your life. Listen to the music you're listening to. Right. You said praise and worship? Mm. Well, is it music of the world? Right. Come on, somebody, help me. Right. Yeah. Amen. 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 What right. God you serving? Right. Amen. Amen. Who's your God? Is your right. God this? Nope. No. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah. There's only one God. Right. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 You can serve two God. God is a jealous God. Right. Amen. Amen. God is a jealous God. Yes, Amen. He is. Amen. 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 Yeah. What we fight, we think it's right, but it's not right in the eyes of God. That's right. why we Amen. need to know the Ten Commandments. He is a jealous God. Make no grieving image, don't make anything else, number one, but Him. Amen. Amen. Yes, Lord. And He said, love your neighbor. Don't go steal from them. This is why you need to answer those five questions. Mm. You're still getting angry. You're still getting mad. You're holding on to rejection and unforgiveness. You need to release those things in order to know God's plan and purpose because you stay stuck in a box. Right. Amen. Amen. The only one putting you in a box is you. Right. Amen. The devil has no power and control over your life. Amen. According to God's plan and God's purpose in life. He has a plan to prosper you. Amen. Have good success. Come on, somebody. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Really, when I look at Pastor Lucy, I see God's plan. Amen. I need somebody. Thank yeah. <laughs> you, Jesus. <laughs> Amen. Are you here? Hallelujah. She's part of God's plan. Amen. 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 Yeah. The things that go through her, only God can. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise Hallelujah. The Lord. You see, everything works because I know that she is the plan. So I can't get some, come against God's plan. But come against God's plan. Then I came against God that sent her to me. Amen. 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 Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Amen. Wake up in this place. Amen. Amen. God has a plan. Yes, amen. amen. Yes, amen. <laughs> a 
Let that be part of our dimension strength. Hallelujah. How many of you need your rug to be smooth? Amen. Come on, somebody. Yes, amen. Yeah. Amen? amen. People are going to step on you at the rug, but you need to be overcome. Amen. 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 I thought I should talk about that. I thought I should talk about that. Something getting struck. Oh, then you got to work on your work. Come on, somebody. Amen. 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 We need to keep these words so we can hold on to our integrity with a proven yeah. reputation. Jesus. Come on. Hallelujah. Yeah. We can learn from people's mistakes. Amen. Listen, we can learn from people's mistakes. Amen. Amen. I want to learn from my father's mistakes. This is why I hold on to my integrity. I need to prove that God's word works. So when you see me, you say, wow, what a revelation. Wow, he's a testimony to the word of God. He is developing to the man that God has called. 911. Because <laughs> when you call me, I won't come. 911. Call me up. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. 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 Help, I'm going out the bus. <laughs> Hallelujah. A proven repetition of integrity, church. Answer the refined question. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's do love in the church. Sleep us now. Hallelujah. I'm telling you guys the truth. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are ready to solve a specific problem. You cannot solve a problem until you solve that five questions. Pastor Lucy has a ring with five diamonds. I don't know why I bring it up. I need She has a, a ring with five diamonds. I have a ring which I hardly wear because I get my Jesus ring. Mm -hmm. And Jesus. Jesus. Amen? Amen? Jesus first. Amen. 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 I have five diamonds, she has five diamonds. It holds on to my integrity and my position in a house, in our house, that I'm no greater than her. We are one. We are one. Because when two walk in an agreement, things will happen. Yeah. Blessings will come upon my life. Yeah. Blessings will come on her life. The blessing will fall on my grandchildren. The blessing will fall on this congregation. The blessing will fall on my children. Because we agree and we are one. one. There's no disagreement. Amen. Jesus. Come on, someone. Amen. How can two work together if there's no agreement? She has five diamonds. I have five diamonds. So you put the two fives together, we come out a perfect ten. Celebrate with me, yes! Yeah. Amen. 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 I will tell you why. It's very important that the unity in the house that me and her live in, under this umbrella of God, he said, when there is unity, God will command a blessing upon not only me and her, but on the congregation. Come on, somebody. Amen. Every one of you are blessed Jesus. because the top of the church is blessed. It falls down to every one of you. Amen. Amen. Because I answered those five questions. You know my daughters, they all watch me. Yes. All my daughters. Amen. And they're talking to them. <laughs> you let cheat. What is the one? You cry for you for Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Everything do everything we do and everything that is written, everything that you're learning today, it has to do with God's name sake. For his sake that we answer these five questions, that we can move into a position where God wants to use you and your integrity and your works of your talents of your gifts that God has given every one of you. Not everybody has the same talent. Everybody is made specifically for your own talent. So don't think that you're a mistake. Yep, that's you're not a mistake. Amen. 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 Yeah. You're somebody for God's kingdom. Yeah. 
Hallelujah. When I was in jail, I was suicidal. I thought I was a mistake. Until I started reading the Word of God and I Amen. answered those five questions. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Doing everything for the name of Jesus. For his name's sake. To us backslider, God died for you to bring you back into position so Thank you can Lord. stop sliding. Back. Amen. Amen. So God can put you into position. Yes, for Amen. his name's sake. God don't want you to be stuck. Homeless. Take and for food. Thank you, Lord. God don't want us on drugs and alcohol. Man. God, God don't want us to be homeless. This is why today we need to answer those five questions. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. God has a plan and a purpose for you. You're not a mistake. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. When my mom and my dad were having sex, and then all those sperm was rushing to the angels, I think it was 5,000 angels rushing, and then God said, that one, that one, that one. <laughs> then that was me, boom, and that came in, and boom, there I am. There he is. Come on, somebody. There he is. That was five hundred strong racing to the end. I said, no, 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 this one, this one, this one, this one. There he is. There he is. God made me, correct me. He knew from my mother's womb. Amen. You gotta know who you are. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Chapter 1, verse 4 and 5. Hallelujah. 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 Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 4 and 5. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, praise Jesus. Hallelujah. You're not a mistake, you're somebody. Yes, Lord. Yeah, this is Sunday. What is it? The 18th. Sunday, the 18th. Then the word of the Lord came to me and fishes on the ministry this morning at 10, 11 24 a.m. Before I formed thee out of the belly, I knew thee. And before thou cometh forth out of the womb, I have sanctified thee and ordained thee a prophet unto the nation. Yes, God knew you when you were in the womb. Yes. In heaven, they was talking about you too before you were released into this atmosphere. God knew you before you were even born. It was in heaven. And God said, well, they had a meeting, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. What if, what if Pastor Bird don't make it? What if Gary don't make it? Then let's have a backup plan. Jesus, you need to die for Gary. Amen. Amen. It is done. Yeah, right. Or it is finished. Come on, somebody. Jesus. Amen. It was finished at the cross. Amen. He died for our iniquities and our backsliding. This he did it all for his name. Say. Hey. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, somebody. Get excited. Yeah, amen. Come on. Right. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He did it for his name's sake. Verse 6. Then I said, Oh, Lord, I cannot. I cannot. And I, I don't know if I will not speak. Listen, church. When I was in prison, God called me and said, oh, I cannot. I cannot. I will not. You see, my will and my flesh not going to work with the will of God. Come on. Yep. Somebody help me with this. Amen. My will goes against God's calling. Amen. Come on. My will and my thoughts and my, my knowledge goes against the will of the Father. It keeps me stuck in my flesh and my old man. How can somebody, God, use a man like me that committed rape and attempted murder on my ex-wife? God turned things what is evil to turn around for his glory. My ex-wife sits on this side of the church when she comes. Eh? She sits down on this church giving God the glory because what was meant for evil, God turned it around Hallelujah. for his glory. Come on, sir. Amen. 
Thank you, Jesus. One touch of the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. He touched me. Yes, Lord. Oh, he touched me. Jesus. And all the joy that floods my soul. Yes, Lord. Something, Something wonderful happened. And now I know he touched me. Touch me. And made me whole. Yes, Lord. Oh, beautiful. Eh? Thank you, Jesus. Don't stand. I can, I can sing, but I should let you join the flat. <laughs> so, give me a secret. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God worked for both His glory and for His own good. God Hallelujah. works. To bring him glory and to show his good works in the future. Thank you, Jesus. That is okay. For his glory. Thank you, Lord. Not for my glory. Not for your glory. You ain't got no glory. I used to have the glory when I used to serve around the world. I was a business, but now it's not about me, it's about God's glory. Amen. Amen. Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You see the surf on a, you see the surf on top of the wall? It says, catching the way for Jesus. Amen. In the atmosphere, God created the water before he formed the land. In the atmosphere, he made the water and the heaven. They were connected with moisture. It was God that created the wave that I write. Woo! Come on, somebody. Yeah. It's the wave, the hurricane that I've written, that I wrote. You know what kept me safe? The word of God kept me safe. The spirit. Come on, somebody. Jesus. It is the spirit of God that answers these five questions. Who are you? Amen. And where are you going? I went quick surfing. That picture when I went to prison, I locked up, and when I went to module one, in the middle of the prison, listen to me, in the middle of the prison, they have a collage of Martone, all these football players, baseball players, in the middle of the collage, and Pastor Bird, that picture with up, James Bird, my taking off. I'll take it off, I just let it. <laughs> I let it on bottle of rocks. <laughs> what are you talking about? Because see, that's like the picture of the magazine. Bird takes off on the pile of rocks. <laughs> I was in prison and I had the picture. This is why I picked the picture. The picture is the testimony of the prophecy of our life. <laughs> there is testimony in your life that God will show you things, pictures, and the voice and a vision of God's provision for your life. God will start to show you dreams and visions because you know how I know it? Because God gave me dreams and visions of Pastor Lucy. Boom, there he is. I have it written down inside of here. It has, a, it has, I have a letter that I written in prison and it says, write down the vision and the vision is for an appointed time and then the vision will come to us. Boom, there she is. By the I can find Jesus. <laughs> Everything that God does for a plan and a purpose. Yes. Come on, someone. Amen. But you need to be in the will of God. Amen. You need to answer those five yes. questions. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's get hungry. You better not leave. <laughs> I want you. <laughs> I'm watching you, and I'm looking at you. You know who I'm talking about? <laughs> you feeling guilty right now, eh? <laughs> the plan for your existence. God created you to solve a problem. Come on, somebody. Amen. Everything is connected. Kamoi was connected. Gary is connected. Kepa, my son, is connected way back then. Everybody is good. My fresh... Um, Batch of kids just came in a couple of months ago. One of them is my son, Kai, Rivera. God has brought him into this place for a plan and a purpose. Kohone is already changing. I've listened and I've heard the good reports on Kohone's life just like Holly. Holly was messed up for 30 years. Kohone has proven his integrity. It's not anything that he has done because he knows those five questions. Amen. Who are you? Amen. What voices are you listening to? Yes, Hallelujah. Jesus. Praise Jesus. Amen? Amen. God works for both his glory and for good. Write this down. Romans chapter 8 verse 28. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Romans chapter 8, verse 8. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God and to them that are called according to His plan and purpose. That you will know those five questions. Who are you? Amen. And I've talked this many, many times. Many of you will be tempted, but temptation monitors your character. character. Who are you? When you get tempted, when they grow the way you are you still past the bird? Hello. Hello. I thought you were somebody. <laughs> That's a trick. It's a trick. It's a trick. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them that are called according to His purpose. Come on, somebody. Amen. God works in our life for His glory and for the good of your life. Amen. Your children, your wife, your family, your job, your business, your integrity, everything that you are, everything that you will be. Needs to answer those five questions. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. I walk in the because I love my wife. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. When I honor her, I honor God. Amen. When you honor your wife, you honor God calling upon her life. God has a call on her life as well as he has a calling on your life according to what we just read. Amen. It's not only your calling but everybody that are under your leadership in your house you need to hang on to your integrity and your proven reputation as a man of God that you will answer these five questions correctly. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is a planet perfect. He's calling you, he's calling. Thank you, Jesus. Question. What is the purpose when you buy a cell phone? Question. Question. What is the purpose when you buy a cell phone? Is to talk to somebody. talk to somebody. somebody. Somebody, right? That's why you buy the phone, right? That's a purpose to use that phone so you can call your wife, call your husband, tell him I love you. Not the F word, I love you. Endurance. Amen. 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 Call your doctor, tell him I'm healed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Come on, somebody. Yes. Amen. You got a lot of words in those five questions. I'm healed in the name of yes, Jesus. Amen. I'm calling to his strength. Yes, amen. amen. I'm healed in the name amen. of Jesus. Amen. According to his word. Yes, amen. Amen? Yes, amen. amen. Question. What is the purpose when you buy the phone? To talk to somebody. But before you operate that phone or the cell phone, you have to open the box. And in those boxes, there are instructions. Right. How to use the phone. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Those in instructions is to protect that product. God's Bible, His word is to protect His product. Amen. You are a product of the Son of Jesus Christ. Yes. Jesus. Come on. Some of you was a product of Son, but God brought you back home yes. to a church and to a family because you are called to His plan and His purpose. Yes. You was a product of Son. You was out there in the road, jamming. Woohoo! Yeah. Jamming up. <laughs> Coming back, flat tire. <laughs> but that was all in God's plan. Right. When you buy that phone, there is instructions in that phone. You have to read the instructions. How many of you how many of you read the whole instructions? Don't lie. Oh. Don't lie. Not everybody read all instructions. You throw my eye. Pull them plug them in and I'm out of it right away. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Uh -huh. yeah. right. You don't read the instructions. Right. Yeah. This is why we need to read the Bible. Right. So we can have instructions. Right. To have a plan in the future. 
du altså fejl, stup. Nej. Kan vi stupe det, for det er en god question. Ja. Som det jo har givet altså et også question. Halleluja. 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 We need to read the instruction. Basic instructions before leaving earth. The Bible. Amen. Hallelujah. You have to read the instructions. The thing that the if the if the phone the, the instruction says that your phone not waterproof, you cannot go be with your phone. <laughs> you cannot put your phone on the oven or burn. Read the instructions. Come on, somebody. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Read the instructions. That's why some people get frustrated when they don't read the instructions. I don't give up. Then you like broke one hand. If you never read the instructions. I mean, I'm smart. I just call my daughter, Joanna. Joanna, fix this. I'm just joking. I was going to say, okay, Papa. Hey. Papa, you got to read the instructions. I'm not going to be with you forever, Papa. <laughs> grandma, Grandma! <laughs> oh, help me, help me. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is why we need to read the Bible for instruction of God's plan and purpose. You need to read it so you can know it. That's five questions. Amen? Amen. Go to 2 Timothy. Chapter 3, verse 16. I'm almost done. That's very important if you hear this message today. Amen. 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 You're not here by accident. You're not here by accident. Amen. Look at you, so I'm not here by accident. I'm not here by accident. I'm here by accident. God has to use somebody to call you to come to this place this time. Amen. Because sometimes you don't listen, so I gotta send somebody. Okay? Come on, go church. Okay. <laughs> you guys got it? Amen. All scriptures is given by inspiration of God and it is uh, profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instructions into righteousness. That the man of God may be perfect through the furnishing unto all good works. It didn't say some works. It said all good works. So when you know that you're doing all good works because you have the answers to these five questions. Amen. 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 All scriptures is given to be reproof. Some of you need to be reproof. Some of you need correction. Amen. So God wants you to connect the word this morning to your destination, to your future. Hallelujah. He has a plan. Thank you, Lord. So be inspired this morning Amen. by God's word. Thank you, Jesus. Instructions. Furnish unto all good works. We need to succeed. Listen to it. We need to succeed for his name. Sing. God wants you to succeed. Yes, amen. God don't want you to be a failure. You, God don't want you to be a drug addict. God don't want you to commit all fornication and adultery. God don't want you to be stuck in a homeless position. God wants you to prosper. Prosper. Amen. Amen. Yes. You gotta receive it. It's not yes. my word. It's God's word and provision over the church this morning. Yes. Come on, somebody. Yes. God's word and provision over your life and my life because this is the five questions that we're looking at this morning. Thank you, Lord. All scriptures is given to us for some doctrines for reproof and correction. Some of you need to be corrected this morning. Because yes. somebody who stay stuck, God wants you to prosper, but you're stuck in this box. Get out of the box. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Get out. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're getting frustrated. We need to succeed for God's sake. Yes. God wants us to be healed. 
Come on, somebody. Yes, yes. Amen. God wants us to be healed. Thank you, Lord. Us and see when God heal you, God don't heal you so you can feel better. God don't heal you for your name's sake. God heals you for His name's sake. This is why He heals. This is why He does signs and miracles and wonders. For His name's sake. Because He is a God with integrity, a proven repetition according to His word. He said, by His stripes, you are healed. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Ooh, hallelujah. Instructions. He will heal you for his name's sake. He said, write this down. Isaiah 40, uh, Isaiah 53, verse 5. But he was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised for our iniquities. He, the chastisement of, of our praise was upon him. And with his stripes we are healed. Yes. Listen, that was his word. When he said something, he would prove his word for his name's sake. Testimony. For his name's sake. Not for the church name. Not for Pastor Bird's name. Not for Pastor Lucy's name. But for his name's sake. When I prayed for two people that I experienced that was dead and on a mission. When I prayed for them in the name of Jesus, for his name's sake, to the families that now believe that there is a God that rise up the yeah. dead. Yeah, that's right. For his name's sake. One guy was crushed with a machine. All his guts was broken. His bones was broken. He was on a life support machine. The thing was giving him breath because he was all crushed. His stomach was crushed. His bones was crushed. And he was clinically dead. So like the parents called me up and the daughter of a customer and hurt my dad. You see, you got to understand, it was a plan and a purpose that the guy came to this church in a strategic time and a moment in his life. When he came to this church, it was a beginning of transformation and to God's word to heal him. But he needed to come to church. If he wasn't coming to church, I would never know that he was dead and on a machine. That then I would listen 